whenever you're ready, can you explain what you've put together here? Okay, so uh, recently, the, the cybersecurity has become a very important topic in the world. And among them, the uh, RC4 cipher is a very interesting and complex algorithm to do the encryption and decrypt for the uh, data stream. So what we are doing is we implement the RC4 algorithm on FPGA board. This is from uh, Altera DU1 SOC. <coughs> and first, you can see that we are using the in content memory to show the uh, the initial message, and this memory will show the uh, encrypted message, and this one will be the uh, decrypted message. So first, this is our uh, user interface. We have four buttons, and three of them is, uh, are used. And this is the secret keys. We can change the secret keys by the user. And uh, our secret key is 24 bits. However, the board only have 10 bits. So the lower nine bits represents the lower nine bits for secret key, and the high speed, the high speed is the twenty uh, fourth bit of the secret key. Okay. And other bits will be hardware to zeros. Okay. Okay. First, uh, you can see this encrypted memory. Uh, if we press key one, uh -huh. it will encrypt this message to here. You can see this. <coughs> okay. This is encrypted message. Okay. And then if we press key zero, it will decrypt it. So we can show you if the uh, secret key is wrong. Uh, you can record my, my secret oh, key. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. This secret key is used to encrypt the message. We have to use the same secret key to decrypt it. What if my secret key is wrong? So you just you change can... the secret key? Yeah, the mm -hmm. output message is wrong. Right. What if the secret key is exactly the same as before? the uh, output message will be correct. Yes. Cool. Like this. And what if we don't have uh, we don't have the secret key? We have a uh, brute force cracking for the message, which will traverse all the bits from uh, 0, 0, 0 to 1. So for example, let's mess, uh, mess up the message to uh -huh. a wrong value, like this. And if we are press the key 3 on the board, it will traverse all the pos possibilities of the secret keys from initial uh, from zero to all ones and by the way before i uh, brute force cracking it mm -hmm. uh, because it will take very long time to uh, cracking it mm -hmm. so we implement 16 cores and each three line represent one core so which means each core has a, a read-only memory uh, uh, encrypt memory and a decrypt memory. At the end of the top level module, uh -huh. we have a, a addition, a additional memory. To show the final result. Yeah, to show the final result. Yeah. So this allows for you to to try sixteen different keys simultaneously. Yes. Correct. Okay. Yes. So uh, it's very slow. I don't know why it's slow. You can see this. Uh, it's wrong right now. What if yeah. we are do the cracking? So if we press this key. So now it's trying to crack it. Yeah, you can see that it's changing any time. Right. It should be changing very fast, but it's very slow today. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh -huh. You can see the changing of this. So when uh, when it is finished, the the time will be. Uh, stable okay. and the correct message will show up on the last memory. So yeah. this is, am I correct that this is searching 2 to the 24 different keys? Yes. And it's it can check 16 <clears throat> keys simultaneously? Yes. How long does it take for it to check a single key? Do you have like an estimate for that? Uh, yes, we use EO2 cycles for okay. a single key. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In hexadecimal. Two cycles. Wow. Yes. So that's fifteen times uh, two fifty six. Yes. How does it know when it's found the right key? 
Yes, this is an interesting question because you can see the output of uh -huh. the message. Some of the characters are in the ASP2 table, standard table, okay. like the uh, the letters from A to Z, and only uh, only if the value of the data belongs to the range in A to Z, and the question mark or the or or that mark or, yes. or the equals number or the uh, the numbers will be will be flag, flagged as correct. So you're looking for valid ASCII yes. characters? Yes. Interesting. But not all the ASCII uh, not not all the ASCII numbers. For yeah. example, like this one is not included by our sure. design. So we only include the letters, numbers and question mark or Okay. Okay. Like oh yeah, it finished. You can see that it stop it stop uh -huh. changing. If we put it down and we refresh this memory. It's very slow. You see. Cool, so it yeah. found the secret key. Yeah, it found the secret key. And uh, this one should be very fast. The reason is because uh, the the total range of secret key <coughs> is 24 zeros mm -hmm. to 24 ones. Mm -hmm. However, in our secret, uh, our correct secret key is one zero 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 and one one one. Okay. So, uh, maybe this is belongs to the last core, and it only traverse the a little bit of the key, so it doesn't take too much time to traverse. It. Right. So it didn't. It was able to stop the search relatively early because it found the yes oh, because yes. of what the secret key so was chosen to be. So if we wanna, you, <coughs> we wanna try the worst case to find the maximum time. Mm -hmm. We can hardware the secret key, the secret key to all ones. Sure. It will take maximum time. Okay. Do you have an estimate for how long that might take if it were the worst case? Yes, we calculate that by hand. Yeah. It will be four point three hours divided by sixteen. 4.3 hours divided by 16. Yes. Okay. If we are using the 15 megahertz. 15 minutes. About 15 minutes. Yes. If we, if we are using the 15, uh, 15 megahertz clock. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we changed it to 100 megahertz and 200 megahertz. Yeah. But it doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> Critical yeah. path is too long. Too yes. Work. Okay. Yes. Because the complexity of the, uh, of the project is, the first is, uh, uh, the handshake and the interface between different uh, state machines. The other one is the complexity of the state machines. Okay. Because we are implementing the for loop or shuffle, something like that in a state machine. So uh, each state machine contains more than 20 or 30 states for that. Sure. Yes. That is really interesting. Yes. I like your encoded message. <laughs> yes. And the message, uh, the input message, we are uh, is used, by, uh, is inputted using uh, the MIF file. We added MIF file by ourselves. Okay. So I I use the ASCII table and type by myself. Okay. Yes. How did you How did you find out about the uh, memory admin? This tool. Yeah. It's a tool. It's a nice tool. Yes. It's a very easy. Here. Too slow to demo. Corners is buggy, so it's always <laughs> buggy when we do it. You see? You see? <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. That's, that's a and nice utility. All the memories uh, are M10K, but yeah. we are not using the way you taught us in the class. We just use IP core to generate the uh, M10K. Sure, it's, that's it's fine. It's much easier. You yeah, think I so? I agree. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Like, use the IP core like this. Yeah. We have the uh, on chip memory. And we have one port, two port, read only, and for the RAM. Okay. It's very easy. And after we implement the memory, we can use the in content memory editor like this. Okay. We have. And the downside of this is you can see that we have 16 cores because we are using generate four statement. So we cannot hide one memory, even yeah. though they are exactly the same. So we must show all of them. That's why it is slow. Sure. Yeah. That's fine. That's all for our project. That is really neat. Yeah. Thank you.